Hey guys, it's Robin, your independent Zenzi consultant. Welcome back and welcome if you're new. Today I have got one of my absolute favorite videos of the entire year to film. This is the fall winter catalog video for fall 2024, winter 2025. So this catalog will be launching on September 1st. It will go all the way until the end of February and then the spring catalog starts March 1st. So this catalog will be in play in just about a month from now, month and a half from now. So it's not available yet. Um, but September 1st, this will all be available and I don't have the catalog in my hands just yet. It's been released at Sensi Family Reunion just now and I have pictures of the scent list. So what we're going to be going through in this video is the scent list compared to last fall and winter's catalog. There have been a lot of changes and we're going to go through those changes. So I have got my old copy. This is last year's fall winter catalog. The new one, like I said, is on its way but not here yet and I have got the scent list. There are 10 new releases, which is pretty typical for Scentsy. The other thing I wanted to say before I get into the actual content here is if I make a mistake because I was doing this, you know, trying to get this video up for you, if I've made a mistake, I will put a pinned comment in the comments below. So just check and see if there's a pinned comment. I will add any additional information I get um, to that pin as well as correct any mistakes that I've made. I am gonna try my best not to make mistakes, but it has happened in the past and I wanna make sure that there's a way to direct you there to see corrections if needed. So if there's no pinned comment below, things are great here, um, but I will add additional information or corrections to a pinned comment below if needed. So today was the first day of Scentsy Family Reunion. I'm going to do a recap video separate from this one. This is just going to focus on scent list. If you want to know about new warmers, new products, all of that good stuff, there will be a Scentsy Family Reunion day one recap. That information will be in there. We are going to go through this with the fall winter catalog from last year. So last year we had 10 new releases, of course, as well. This next year we also have 10. Now, typically with Sensi, most of the new releases, if not all of them, will make it to the next catalog. So historically, that's kind of been the case for the past couple years anyways. Last year's new releases for fall and winter, we had 10. Only four are carrying forward. Four out of 10 are carrying forward. So we lost most of last year's new releases. So the ones that are staying, are cranberry and cardamom. This was a very, very popular scent. That one was cranberry, cherry, and cardamom. I'm not gonna go through scent notes in this video. This is just gonna be what's staying, what's gone, what's coming. Um, dashing was discontinued. It did not make it back. The good news about that is that dashing is currently available in the spring summer catalog as, as I'm filming this right now. So if you love dashing, I would recommend putting it in a Scentsy Club because even after it's discontinued on September 1st, you will continue to get it in Scentsy Club if you have a Scentsy Club. So if you love dashing, you do have an opportunity here to club it if you want to. Um, that one is beautiful. I will, I will probably club that. Um, Fall Feelin' was a spicy orange scent. It has retired, not coming back. Frosted Cedar was one of my favorites last year for the new releases. It's a sweet apple scent. It is returning. It is staying. It's a good one. Frosty Air, we lost it. It was a nice laundry scent. It is not coming back in wax. We are getting it in laundry. So in region one, there will be Frosty Air laundry, which I am very much looking forward to because I love Frosty Air, um, but not in wax or anything else. Golden Garland was a nice kind of, kind of warm pine tree scent. It is gone. That one did not return. Make Me Snickerdoodle is back. That's a good one. Midnight Mahogany is back. That's a fairly soft one. It's kind of like a plummy woodsy scent, really nice. One that I love to mix with Midnight Mahogany is Palo Santo and Cinnamon. It did not return. I think the Palo Santo in there scared some people. It was a beautiful scent. It's a shame it's not returning, but that's, that's too bad. Another one that I really, really loved last year was Red Currant Wreath. That is also not returning. So Red Currant Wreath is gone. So the ones that are staying, again, recap, Cranberry and Cardamom, Frosted Cedar, Make Me Snickerdoodle, and Midnight Mahogany. The ones that we are not seeing back are Dashing, Fall Feelin', Frosty Air, except in Laundry, Golden Garland, Palo Santo and Cinnamon, and Red Currant Wreath. So that is the new releases. In the holiday category, pretty much all the old favorites are staying. So there's, there's no massive like horrendous shocks this year for the holiday scents because sometimes they'll get rid of like a favorite holiday scent and people get very attached to their holiday scents because they're like nostalgic. And luckily this year we have no major discontinuations there. Um, Candy Cane Buttercream is staying. Christmas Cottage is staying. Thank goodness. Some people were worried about Christmas Cottage because we had it in a brick last year. 
all three of last year's brick scents, um, Very Snowy Spruce, Pumpkin Roll, and Christmas Cottage have returned. So we are good to go. Um, cinnamon Pine Cones is returning. Cloven Cinnamon is sticking around. Eucalyptus Wreath is staying. Perfect Peppermint is staying. Polar Bear Hug will be back as well. Um, Red Currant Wreath again is discontinued. That was the new release one from the last category. Silver Bells, I always worry about Silver Bells. It's one of my favorites. It is staying. Very Snowy Spruce, like I said, is staying. In the spice category, we have one, two discontinuations, and one of them we've already talked about. So spice category is largely staying the same, so good news there. Um, all of your favorite old classic spice scents are sticking around. Good news. So apple and cinnamon sticks is staying. People worry about that one. People worry about these top three actually quite a bit because they're older scents and they've been around a while. But apple and cinnamon sticks apple and cinnamon sticks is staying autumn hearth is another one of those very classic dry spice scents it is staying autumn sunset is like an apple pumpkin spice scent very classic classic traditional it is staying the one that is being discontinued was a new release two seasons ago it is called blackberry spice so blackberry spice is no more that one is discontinuing um, but christmas cottage stays cider mill classic favorite for fall that's staying Cinnamon Bear is staying. Cinnamon Vanilla is staying. Cloven Cinnamon, like we talked about already, is staying. Farm Stand Pumpkin is staying. First Day of Fall is coming back as well. Uh, Maple Apple Bourbon, this is another one that people were worried about, uh, but Maple Apple Bourbon is staying. Pumpkin Cinnamon Swirl is another fantastic kind of pumpkin bakery type scent. I don't know why they put it in the spice category. It's not very spicy to my nose at all, uh, but it is staying. It's a very good bar. Uh, Red Current Wreath, like we talked about, was a new release as well. That one is gone. And Welcome Home is staying. So that is the spice category. Not a whole lot of changes there. Not too scary. The next thing we have here is the bakery category. Now, people have been begging for more bakery. And Sensi has pulled through this season. I gotta say, the catalog bakery list is looking solid. We are losing two bakery scents. One didn't make sense to be in that category in the fall catalog in the first place. So I'm not sad about it. The second one I will miss. It's in my club. Um, but yeah, we are also getting several, I believe four, four new release bakery scents. Now for context, in previous, in the previous two or three catalogs that I've been with Sensi, the fall winter catalog has included one new release bakery scent. We are getting four new release bakery scents in this catalog and losing just two. So that's not bad. There's also going to be a couple, two, two other bakery scents that are going to be added from last year's LTOs. So the bakery category is getting a makeover and it's, it's a positive one in my opinion. So we are losing apple cherry strudel. That is a, that's a favorite of mine. It is a not awesome performer. I knew it's time was going to come. Um, I have it in my club. It's going to stay there. I love that bar. Um, but apple cherry strudel will be gone. Baked apple pie, sticking around, classic. Blueberry cheesecake, of course, is staying, another classic. Candy cane buttercream was a Sensepirations bar a couple seasons ago, a couple winters ago. It is staying in the catalog. Cran apple crumble was a new release two years ago, and it is staying. I love that one. That is such a good late summer, early fall bakery scent. Gimme candy had been a scent of the month a couple years ago as well, and they brought it to the catalog last year, and it is staying this year too. It is so good and so strong. If you like a strong kind of caramely bakery, that is a good one. Gimme candy mixes well with everything too. Uh, the one, the other one that we're losing in the bakery category is lemon drizzle cake. It is currently in the spring and summer catalog. So if you love lemon drizzle cake, you do have the opportunity as I'm filming this right now to either order it now or to put it as in a Scentsy club because it is currently available. Um, but it will not be available on as of September 1st. And I don't know if we're going to get it back for next spring and summer. Um, I don't hear a lot of people talk about it, so I don't suspect we're going to see it again. Um, so if I had to guess, lemon drizzle cake is toast for good, but we won't know until next spring. So if you love it, club it, but it is going away from the catalog and I am personally okay with that. I thought it was an odd pick to have in the fall winter catalog uh, when they added it to the fall winter catalog last year. So that's okay. Uh, Make Me Snickerdoodle, one of last year's new releases that is carrying forward, is staying. Uh, Mocha Doodle is staying. Pumpkin Roll, another classic kind of pumpkin brown sugar bakery. Really nice. It is staying. Salted Caramel Toffee is sticking around. Scary Good had originally started out a couple, two or three years ago as a scent of the month for September. 
Um, then they brought it to the catalog a year or two years ago and it's it's sticking around. It's going to be staying. It's a nice strong kind of smoky pumpkin spice scent. It's very good. And then vanilla bean buttercream of course is staying. So I'm going to go through all the categories and let you know what's leaving and then after we do that I'm going to go through and let you know what is being added as well. So in bakery again all we're losing is apple cherry strudel and lemon drizzle cake. In the fresh category, we are losing more. We're losing several fresh bars. We are losing one, two, three, four, five, six. And not a ton are being added. So we are shrinking the fresh category a little bit and growing the bakery category, it looks like. Um, your classics are sticking around. So aloe water and cucumber and Amazon rain that are available year round, those are carrying forward again, as we would expect. Arctic Kiss is staying. That's a very popular, um, very strong, good performing, fresh scent for winter. One that we're losing is one that is typically a year round catalog scent. So this is one that I suspect we are not going to see back at all. And that is By the Sea. So this is typically in the catalog year round and it's gonna be not in this catalog. So I'm not sure if they're going to be switching this to be just a spring summer scent or if this one is actually done. If you love By the Sea, I would stick that in a Scentsy Club just in case we don't see it in the spring again because like I said, historically, that has been a year-round scent so it would not surprise me if that one was done done. So By the Sea is not going to be in the fall winter catalog so you have until September, till August 31st to club that one or stock up. Clean Breeze and Clothesline again are typically in the catalog year-round and they are in this next catalog too. Uh, so Clean Breeze, Clothesline and Cozy Cardigan are staying. Eucalyptus Wreath, like I said, is staying. Fluffy Fleece, we are losing in wax and home fragrance. We are keeping it in laundry. So if you love Fluffy Fleece, um, in wax it will no longer be in the catalog, but we are gonna continue having it in laundry for the, for the time being. I'm personally okay with that. I have never been a fan of Fluffy Fleece in wax, but I love it in the laundry. So I'm very content to have it in the laundry and not in the, in the wax personally. Um, French Lavender will be staying in the catalog. So I'm glad that they've kept a lavender for us. And we do have another lavender option that is more seasonally appropriate in the new releases. I'll share that in a bit here. Uh, Frosted Vanilla, there's three here in a row that are gone. Frosted Vanilla is one of them. So that was a new release a couple years ago. That was like a birchwood and vanilla type scent with some mint. It was very pretty and very strong. Some people didn't like it though. And so it doesn't surprise me that it's gone because I didn't hear many people talk about it last year. So Frosted Vanilla is discontinued. It is not coming back. Frosty Air, like we talked about and Golden Garland. Those are two, again, the new releases that are not coming back. So Frosty Air and Golden Garland, as well as Frosted Vanilla are not returning. Uh, Jammy Time, again, typically a year round scent. It is returning. It's gonna be in the next catalog too. No worries there. Just Breathe is carrying on to the next catalog as well. So is Newborn Nursery, which is again, typically a year round scent and it is carrying forward again. Um, Perfect Peppermint is returning. Polar Bear Hug is returning. Silver Bells is returning. Another one that is discontinuing that is kind of a shame because it's a very pretty scent is White Amber and Silk. That one is a soft kind of clean soapy scent. It's very pretty. It is not returning. So if you're a fan of White Amber and Silk, um, that one is not coming back. So I think it's available. I think it's available right now in the summer catalog. If it is, definitely throw it in a club. All right, the woods category. We have lost one, two, three, four. Two of them we've already talked about because they're new releases and two other ones we're just losing. Um, Around the Campfire Staying. That one is such a polarizing scent. People love it or hate it. I'm a big fan once it's aged, um, it's staying. So Cashmere and Corduroy also sticking around. Cedar Cider is another one that people worry about because it's been around for a long time. Cedar Cider is staying. Um, we've already talked about Cinnamon Pine Cones, it's staying. <coughs> Dashing, again, this is one of those ones from the new releases that is discontinuing, but it is currently available. So you can club it if you like that one. Falling Apples. This is an apple and oak bar. It's very strong. It is continuing forward in the new catalog. One that is discontinuing is Huckleberry Hideaway. This one has like a violet leaf or a violet and woods type scent with a berry note. I have personally never cared for this one. So for me, it's not a loss, but I know that there are people who really love that one. Um, so sorry for your loss because this one is not currently available. And so you will not be able to club it if you haven't already. So this is why it is important to club the bars that you love the very most before the end of the season that they're in. Because if, if you club this last fall, you're fine. You're, you're gonna continue getting this. But if you didn't club it last fall or at the end of last winter, 
you can't club it now because it's not available so that means you're missing out so if you love Tuckleberry Hideaway it is too late to club it so I hope you did <clears throat> Midnight Mahogany is staying. Mystery Man is another classic year-round catalog available bar and it is carrying forward again. Uh, Palo Santo and Cinnamon, like we talked about, is not returning. That was a new release last year. Very Snowy Spruce is coming back. And Weathered Leather is carrying forward to the next catalog. Weathered Leather is another one that's typically available year-round and it is carrying forward again as well. One that we're losing in this category is White Amber and Teak. And that is a very strong, one of the best performing bars Quite a masculine woodsy scent to my nose, kind of cologne -y. Um, It is not returning. So White Amber Antique is available right now, I believe, in the summer catalog. So if you love that one, you do have an opportunity to, opportunity to club it if you need to or to stock up. Um, so yeah, so White Amber Antique is not carrying forward. So if you love that one, definitely pick some up or club it. In the floral category, the floral category is typically the smallest category in the fall winter catalog. It's much larger in the spring summer, but in the fall winter, they pare it down quite a bit. So we are keeping Luna. Luna is a best-selling scent for Scentsy, probably the best-selling scent for Scentsy, and it's a year-round scent. So it is staying and it's coming forward to the next catalog as well. So Luna, sticking around. A couple years ago, they added another floral scent to the fall catalog, and that was Velvet Moon. Velvet Moon is not returning. So Velvet Moon is not coming back this fall winter, so we are back down to the one floral scent. I don't think that any of the new releases are floral, so I think we're back down to just the one. Uh, the fruity category. We are losing one, two, three. So in the fruity category, we're losing three cents and we are gaining one, two, two. So we're losing one in the fruity category, basically. Autumn Road Trip is a classic favorite. It is staying, no worries there. I was a little worried about Autumn Road Trip. Um, it's, it's coming back. One that I kind of suspected in the springtime might be not coming back was Black Currant and Plum. I really like that one. It was an underrated kind of perfumey plum scent, very sweet, very pretty for bedrooms. It is retired, it's not coming back. So Black Currant and Plum is no more. So I clubbed that one at the end of last season because I kind of had a hunch it might not be coming back and I'm glad I did. So I'll continue to get Black Currant and Plum, but that one is not returning this year. Black Raspberry Vanilla, another Scentsy bestseller. Um, Black Raspberry Vanilla is returning. It's carrying forward, of course. Um, Caramel Apple Craze, another best-selling fall scent. That one is carrying forward as well. That one, I think you could make a case for fruity or bakery category. It is a sweet caramel apple scent. Uh, Cranberry and Cardamom, again, is returning. That was a new release last year. Very strong, very popular. Fall Feelin' is one of the ones that is not returning. And that, again, we talked about as a new release as well. So Fall Feelin' is not returning. Frosted Cedar is returning. That was a new release last year as well. Johnny Appleseed is carrying forward. So Johnny Appleseed is another fruity scent that's typically available year round and it is carrying forward for this catalog too. So it is sticking around. One that we are losing is Perfect Day. So that one was a spiced pear and bourbon scent. It was never my cup of tea personally, but it was a reasonably good performer. Um, so if you love Perfect Day, I'm very sorry, but it is retired. So Perfect Day is no more. Scarlet Sunflower is one that some people were a little bit worried about. It is returning, so Scarlet Sunflower is sticking around. Snowberry is one that I kind of thought probably wouldn't return, but Snowberry has returned. It's going to be back, and that one is a very unique kind of minty berry scent with a hint of spice. It's very unique in its scent profile. If you've never tried Snowberry, I would recommend it. So there is that one. It's coming back. And of course, Winterberry Apple Tea, just a classic winter scent. That is returning, of course. Thank goodness. In the citrus category, we are losing two and we are not gaining any citrus as far as I can tell. So we're going to be just shrinking the category a bit. There is one shocker here. The shocker of the catalog is probably in this category. We are keeping Blue Grotto. Blue Grotto is a year round type scent. It stays. Coconut Lemongrass is staying. It's another year round citrus bar. Sips of Cider is not coming back. Sips of Cider was a new release a couple years ago. It was kind of a love it or hate it scent. I didn't love it or hate it. I was just kind of like okay with it. Um, but if you love Sips of Cider, I am sorry, it is not returning. So Sips of Cider is no more. That was kind of a spiced orange spider, not spider, cider scent. Uh, Squeeze the Day, another year round citrus scent is staying. The one that is a shocker, and I don't know what this means. This is one of the first scents that Scentsy ever made. 
or that Sensi ever did. When Heidi and Orville bought Sensi, there were three scents originally, and Sunkissed Citrus was one of them. Sunkissed Citrus isn't coming back. Like, I had to double check my notes. Sunkissed Citrus isn't in the new catalog. So, this, this is a shocker. This is a, the notes are orange, lemon, lime, and grapefruit. To my notes, it's always been kind of a flat orange. I am very surprised though to see this out of the catalog. Like very surprised actually. I will be curious to see if they replace this with a new citrus scent in the spring summer catalog. Um, but that is a surprise. So yeah, I'm not sure if they've made that just a spring summer scent or if they're going to replace it with something else at some point. But we are without sun-kissed citrus for the first time since I've been with Sensi. I think it's been in the catalog forever basically. So that is a shocker. No sun-kissed citrus in wax in the new catalog. Okay, so that is what we're losing. Now let's talk for a second about what we are getting. We have got, let me see here, I've got my notes here. They gave us the exact notes on three, four of the scents at SFR today. Um, and we don't have the notes on the rest yet. And when I get those notes, I will put them in a pinned comment below. So that information will probably be available in the next day or so. So check this the comments of this video because by the time you watch that there's, there's a good chance there will be sent notes for those already um so those will be in the comments below in a pinned comment so one of the bars is a bakery category scent and it's called cherry chestnut it has notes of cherry roasted chestnut and whipped vanilla so that's going to be coming to the bakery category another one that's going to be in the bakery category is called vanilla amber and it contains vanilla cream golden amber and sweet rum so that one sounds like it might be more of a perfumey bakery to my nose, just because of the amber. Um, so it's not gonna be super foody, I don't think. And then I also kind of get that vibe from cherry chestnut as well, because the roasted chestnuts, and there was some like, almost like woodsy looking notes in the scent pyramid. I would be surprised if that was a very foody bakery. I think it's gonna be like a woodsy bakery, which is gonna be very nice. Um, gonna be quite a bit of cherry in the uh, fall winter catalog this season. So if you like cherry, it's gonna be a good year. There was another one called, what was it, Alpine Frost or Alpine, Alpine Frost, I think. That one, I don't remember the notes. They talked really fast and I didn't get them written down. It had notes of like evergreen. There was like a pine needle with cinnamon sticks in it. And there was something in the base, maybe frosty air. I don't know. So it's going to be, it sounds like a tree scent, basically like a cool tree scent is what it sounds like. The other one that we have that's going to be global, these scents that I'm talking about now, the four that I'm talking about now are global. So those are gonna be ones that you can get in every region. Uh, white peach and cranberry is a fruity category scent and it's gonna have sweet and juicy white peach with tart cranberry. So that's gonna be nice. I've wanted more cranberry from Scentsy and I like the idea of a fun fruity scent that will be a nice New Year's Eve scent I think as well, like a peach and cranberry scent, kind of sounds like a cocktail. I think that'll be really fun. So I like that, especially if you live in like a hot area as well and you don't wanna warm like the, sp the spice and the evergreen and that kind of thing you'll have a fruity option that might work really nicely, but still be festive. Okay, the other things that I have here are the names of the new release scents, but no scent notes yet, like I said, but check the comments below. Um, so we have oh, Alpine Escape. So Alpine Escape is the Alpine one I was talking about. Balsam Spice, and I'm not sure if that's going to be in the spice category or the woods category, Balsam Spice. But Balsam Spice is one of the new names the next one we have here is Brown Butter Pumpkin, which sounds amazing. I like, I'm extremely excited about that. That sounds fantastic. Brown Butter Pumpkin is probably gonna be a bakery scent. Uh, gingerbread Pecan Waffles is undoubtedly going to be a bakery scent, but Gingerbread Pecan Waffles, are you kidding me? That sounds fantastic, I cannot wait. I was begging for a gingerbread scent and I hope this is a good one. Um, Hay Rides, I don't know where that's gonna go. Maybe in woods? I expect it's going to be kind of a dry grassy scent or something like that. We have no notes yet, like I said, but Hay Rides is going to be one. Leaves and Lavender. This will probably be a woodsy category one as well, I would imagine, or maybe in floral. I'm not sure. Um, but Leaves and Lavender sounds like kind of an earthy fall scent, maybe like a more elegant, festive kind of herbal scent. Vanilla Amber, we talked about, that's in the bakery category. White Peach and Cranberry, we talked about, that's in the fruity category. Pistachio Woods. This one is also going to be, spoiler alert, in the August Whiff Box, in a bar. So Pistachio Woods is a new catalog scent. I don't have notes. Pistachio and Woods are likely candidates. 
Um, the last one is cherry chestnut and that one we did talk about the notes um, and that's in the bakery category. Other bars that are being added to the catalog that were currently that were available last year. So each season Sensi typically takes a few bars that were popular from different limited time collections throughout that season and they'll put them in the next catalog because they were popular. So the ones that we're getting this time are Cherry's Jubilee. That was in our holiday collection last year. We're also getting, we're getting three from that actually. We're getting Cherry's Jubilee, four. The Christmas collection of the holiday collection did really well last year. So Cherry's Jubilee, Cranberry Candy Cane is coming to the catalog. That one was like a minty cranberry with a hint of cherry or pomegranate. Maybe it was pomegranate. Um, Dutch apple bread. This one was a love it or hate it bar. This was a kind of savory spiced apple bread. More of a savory spiced bread with just a bit of apple, but it wasn't super sweet. So if you don't like sweet bakery, that might be one to try. Um, Sleigh Ride. That was a wildly popular bar. I am so glad it made catalog. I'm not a tree scent person. I typically don't care for tree scents much at all. And I clubbed two bars of Sleigh Ride. That was the perfect bar for the holidays. That was my Christmas day melt. Love Sleigh Ride. I would strongly recommend trying Sleigh Ride if you haven't tried it. Vanilla Barnwood. This is one that I only clubbed one bar of at the end of last season and I wish I'd clubbed more because it ages beautifully. I love it so much. Vanilla Barnwood is going to be in the catalog and I think that's a great move because Vanilla Barnwood you could warm from September all the way through the winter. I warmed it into like the late spring and early summer. Vanilla Barnwood's fantastic. It is not holiday specific. It's not season specific. It is just nice and cozy. It's beautiful. Another one that we got from the holiday collection. Did they give us the entire one, two, three, four. They gave us the entire holiday collection, all five bars. Rum Pum Plum is also on here. So Rum Pum, Rum Pum Plum was a kind of spiced, not really, no, it wasn't spiced. It was a, what am I trying to say? A gooey baked like plum filling, um, like sh brown sugar bakery plum filling. It was really, really delicious. It had like a bit of a pastry to it as well. So good. Um, and again, a good move for the fall winter catalog because it wasn't a holiday specific scent or even a season specific scent. Rum Pum Plum, you could very easily melt from like August, September, all the way through the winter, even into the late spring. It was a just nice bakery scent. Um, and that was a bakery scent. So the other one that we have is from the Harvest Collection. And that one, along with Dutch Apple Bread, um, was Harvest Collection. So this last one from the Harvest Collection is White Pumpkin and Driftwood. This was such a unique scent last fall. I really, really enjoyed it. I clubbed that one as well. Um, so that one was a slightly masculine, woodsy, but also like slightly gourmand bakery pumpkin scent. Like it had a little bit of everything and something for everyone. If you haven't tried white pumpkin and driftwood, I would really encourage you to. It was so different and very, very nice. So that is, that is what's coming to catalog. So we are gaining Cherry's Jubilee, Cranberry Candy Cane, Dutch Apple Bread, Sleigh Ride, Vanilla Barnwood, White Pumpkin and Driftwood, and Rum Pum Plum. As for new releases, again, those are Alpine Escape, Balsam Spice, Brown Butter Pumpkin, Gingerbread Pecan Waffles, Hay Rides, Leaves and Lavender, Am Vanilla Amber, White Peach and Cranberry, Pistachio Woods, and Cherry Chestnut. Cannot wait. Cannot wait. Other things to note are we are keeping Very Vanilla. So Very Vanilla was a new release for the spring summer catalog and that is carrying forward to the fall winter catalog as well. And I am happy about that because Very Vanilla is a very different type of vanilla than we've had before. And I'm seeing a lot of vanilla this catalog and I'm very happy about it. So we also have Vanilla Amber as a new release. And then we're keeping Very Vanilla. We're also keeping Vanilla Bean Buttercream which is the more gourmand foodie version of vanilla. Whereas Very Vanilla is this very lightly, almost like petal floral vanilla. It's so pretty. Much lighter though. In clean, in the cleaning line, we are getting ocean air and coconut water. This is one that I was absolutely floored that we did not see in wax in the spring summer catalog. I thought for sure that we would get either ocean air and coconut water or blue coconut beach in the spring summer catalog. We got neither one, but they are giving us ocean air and coconut water in the clean line in the catalog. So that is fantastic news. That is such a beautiful scent. It's a coconut clean, just beautiful scent. You, you gotta try it. We are losing, however, from the clean line, Daydream Oasis and Make a Splash. So those two are gonna be gone, but we are getting ocean air and coconut water. In the body line, we are getting pink coconut in body. Pink coconut was a scent of the month, I wanna say February two years ago. It was a long time ago. 
That one had coconut, raspberry, and vanilla, I think it was. I think that's right. It had raspberry for sure. And clay. Kaolin or kaolin clay. It had a clay note. It was very unusual. So pink coconut will be in the body line as well. And that is the scent list. So just general discussion of this. The biggest shocker, I think for me at least, is that we are losing Sunkissed Citrus from the catalog and that so many of the new releases were cut. I have never seen them cut six of the new releases before after one season. That is wild. Um, as for the rest, By the Sea is a little surprising because it's been around a long time. Um, that's a little surprising. The others, I don't know. Apple Cherry Strudel doesn't surprise me too much. Would it be helpful if I just, well, I guess you can't answer me. I'm just talking to myself until you guys watch this. So I will go through in just quick order the ones that are discontinued. So what is discontinued just in rapid succession here? Dashing, but you can still club it. Fall Feelin', these are ones that are gone. Frosty Air will still be available in laundry, but nothing else. Golden Garland, Palo Santo and Cinnamon, Red Currant Reef, Let's see here, Blackberry Spice, Red Currant Wreath again, Apple Cherry Strudel, Lemon Drizzle Cake, that one I believe you can still club if you need to, By the Sea, you can still club that if you need to, Fluffy Fleece, will still be available in Laundry, but nothing else, Frosty Van or Frosted Vanilla, that one you can't get anymore, that one's just done, Frosty Air will be coming in Laundry, so no worries there but nothing else. Golden Garland is just gone, gone. And White Amber and Silk is gone. Uh, Huckleberry Hideaway is already gone. Palo Santo and Cinnamon is already gone. And White Amber and Teak, you can still get this. And I believe this will still continue to be available in laundry. Uh, Velvet Moon is gone. Black Current and Plum is gone. This was in clearance recently, so that one you could, you could have stocked up on a little bit ago if you needed to. Fall Feelin' is gone. Perfect Day is gone. Sips of Cider is gone. Velvet Moon is gone. And Sunkissed Citrus is gone. As for licensed stuff, let me take a look here at my most recent catalog. As for the licensed category, we are keeping all of the scents the same. So we're going to continue to have the Angel 624 and Stitch 626. We will continue to have 100 Acre Woods and we will continue to have the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. So those stay the same. And that is the scent list in a nutshell for fall, winter, 2024, 2025. So that is what to expect for the coming season for scents and give you a bit of a heads up on what is not coming back and the things that you could still stock up on our club and the things that are already a done deal and already gone. And so hopefully that is helpful. I would love to know in the comments below what your biggest surprises are here and which of the new release scents are you most excited to try? For me, like I said, the biggest surprises are Sunkissed Citrus being gone and my biggest ones that I'm looking forward to are gingerbread pecan waffles and that brown butter pumpkin scent. I cannot wait for those. Those sound right up my alley. So other than that, I hope you guys are having a great week. I will talk to you soon. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.